Hawaiian trade winds, sky of endless blue, moonlight on the ocean, good food, good wine, and you. <laughs> Aloha, and welcome to Great Chefs of Hawaii. Come join us for a taste of paradise as the island's finest chefs explore Pacific Rim cuisine. This time from Maui, Bev Gannon. From Lanai, Edwin Goto. And from Oahu, Jeff Walters. Ali'i Miley General Store in upcountry Maui is on the slope of the world's largest dormant, fortunately, volcano. Chef owner Bev Gannon's diverse cuisine has garnered winning reviews in Bon Appetit, Food Arts, and Food and Wine. Here's her colorful Kula vegetable tart. Okay, what I'm going to do now is a Kula vegetable tart, which all these vegetables are grown in upcountry Kula, especially these. We love these green beans. Um, and what I've done to most of them is they've been just blanched off, put in cold water, uh, not cooked very through because it's going to bake again in the oven in the tort. Uh, what we have to do is season the broccoli, which we're going to just mix with some sesame seeds, toss it around, give it a nice little toasted flavor. Cut the green beans in half so they're easier to manage in the tort. The beans are seasoned with chopped garlic. So that they'll have some type of flavor within the tort. Although this is mainly to give you the natural flavors of all these wonderfully fresh vegetables from here. Go ahead and just toss the carrots in the same dish. And we're going to add some chopped ginger to the carrots. Another layer is ricotta cheese. So in the tort, it'll make it a fluffy mixture rather than a real cheesy mixture. Three eggs are beaten into the cheese one at a time. I've got the onions here, and I've also got roasted red peppers. Now we're going to take puff pastry dough. You can buy the dough like this now. You don't have to worry about making it. You're going to take a spring form pan. And you're just going to lay the dough over the spring form pan. Press it into the corners. You don't have to grease your pan. There's enough butter in the dough. Take another piece. You don't need one quite as big. You can 
kind of stretch it to fit. You want to be sure is that you press in and seal the cracks where they meet. And then you start layering. You start with the carrots. And just spread them out evenly. and just kind of press them into the pan. And you want to add your onions. And each time you add something, you want to make sure that you press it down into the pan. our green beans. And we'll add the ricotta. Spread it evenly. And then we'll add the broccoli. Top it off with the roasted peppers. Okay. Now what we want to do cut a lattice work for the top. And if you find you have trouble working with the dough, just stick it back in the refrigerator for a little bit. And it'll tighten up. Should be about enough. Just lay them across the top. just going to crimp up the edges. Once we get through with this, we'll brush it with an egg wash. Then it needs to go back into the refrigerator and have the dough get chilled for about 30 to 45 minutes before you put it into the oven. Sprinkle with poppy seeds, refrigerate, then bake at 425 degrees for about 50 minutes. You want to make sure that you let this rest until it gets to almost room temperature out of the oven. So like that. And we serve it with a mixture of 
mescaline greens that are grown right around the corner from the restaurant. Here we get them every day picked just for us. It's one of the pluses of being up country. The Lodge is one of two exclusive luxury properties on Lanai that remind one of Groucho Marx's quip, he couldn't possibly join a club that would have him. Japanese-American Edwin Goto is executive chef, and his impressive cooking is a good match for the elegant surroundings. The knockout entree is a stuffed rack of lamb. Start with trimming the lamb. After seasoning, sun-dried tomatoes are placed on the lawn, followed by fresh basil and toasted pine nuts. After rolling tightly, the loin is wrapped in apple-smoked bacon. In a preheated saute pan, the loin is browned in a little olive oil. After completely browning, drain off the excess fat and place in a 450 degree oven for about nine minutes. Turn the loin twice during roasting. Just let this rest for about three minutes. The lamb ribs are browned on top of the stove and will be used in presentation. The lamb is served with a soft herb polenta. the bones. A reduced veal and red wine stock completes the plate.
experience it. The Hale Kulani Hotel is well known for its sterling upscale restaurant, La Mer. The pastry sous chef is Michigan native Jeff Walters. Along with the usual bag of pastry tricks, he is adept at the arcane skills of sugar pulling and blowing. His dessert is a bow to his adopted state, warm pineapple tart with coconut sauce. The coconut sauce for the pineapple tart. You want to whisk your eggs and your sugar together. This is eight egg yolks and a cup of sugar. And add in your coconut milk. and add in uh, pureed pineapple. And you want to cook it in a saucepan over low heat until it just starts to thicken a little bit. So when the sauce thickens, take it off, run it through a strainer. And after you strain it, just add the rum then. And refrigerate that before you use it. The tart includes pre-baked puff pastry discs. Okay, for the puff dough, you want to pre-bake it completely at about 350 degrees. And we dock it, you can poke holes with a fork or something so it doesn't puff up too much. Then we make uh, kind of a smooth paste with egg yolks and powdered sugar. be fairly thick and just spread that on evenly. Return the pastry to a 350 degree oven for two minutes. Meanwhile, fresh pineapple is sliced. Cut it in quarters, cut out the core. And cut it about, uh, it's about a quarter inch slices, not too thin. And we're just gonna saute it with no oil or anything in preheated frying pans, just to caramelize it and brown it a little bit. Let me arrange them on the puff dough. Starting on the outside and working in. We go around the outside with the coconut sauce. I put dots of uh, guava coolie for color around it. And 
put a piece of mint for garnish. That's it.